So even though today's buyers are SUV crazy nowadays, it's always super nice whenever I see a brand new sedan, especially a performance sedan. I'm here on the show floor of the 2024 New York International Auto Show, and this gorgeous orange beauty is the Genesis G80 Magma Special. Let's take a first look. Now, if you guys can remember back to 2017, Genesis, the Genesis brand was technically launched with the original G80, which was a rebadged version of the Hyundai Genesis. So when the company introduced the all new version of the G80 a couple of years ago, it instantly became one of my favorite uh, mid-size luxury SUVs. Now, this original vehicle was showcased in Dubai back in December of last year as the Genesis G80 performance concept. So as you can see here on the New York Auto Show, they've renamed it to the Magma Special. And I have to say the G80 was already a good looking car but this performance version, which if you guys are also wondering, Magma is supposedly going to be the next performance versions of Genesis models. The company is promising that uh, every Genesis model will essentially have a Magma version, a high performance version. So you can go ahead and take a look at the styling of this vehicle. You can see the G80 itself was already a good looking car, but they've kind of taken it to the next level with this updated model. You can see it's got the usual double line LED headlights here with the quad beams. Uh, it also has a uh, different, slightly different finish to the Genesis Crest grille, which it's been enlarged. You can see the front splitter is also massive. It's a little bit lower and wider. I love the carbon fiber. Uh, and overall, uh, I think that Genesis has basically just taken an already good looking sedan and made it look even better, especially by lowering it. It appears wider as well. Now underneath the hood, I can't pop the hood and talk about the powertrain. So we can only essentially speculate here. Now this vehicle is available in the US with basically a 2.5 liter turbo four cylinder gas engine, eight speed auto and all wheel drive, or there's also a 3.5 five liter twin turbocharged V6. Now that V6 makes 375 horsepower, 391 pound feet of torque. I was hoping that Genesis would eventually put the twin charge version in the G90, which offers basically a twin turbos and a supercharger that'll deliver around 409 horsepower. But again, I can't show you what's underneath the hood. So, so we can only essentially speculate. This vehicle comes standard with all wheel drive with an eight speed automatic transmission. Now moving around to the side profile of the vehicle, you can see um, this model here, you can clearly tell has been lowered. It's been widened obviously. Uh, and you can see the wider track and the lower suspension really just gives this car an aggressive stance. It kind of invokes, you know, something like a BMW M5 competitor to me, but although Genesis does technically doesn't have a powertrain that can kind of compete with that, you can see this Magma special concept has these really gorgeous, attractive looking 21 inch wheels. You can see it's on a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire with these upgraded brakes with looks like a six piston uh, caliper behind it. You also have a fatter tire. Uh, it also has a staggered setup. The stance of this vehicle, I love kind of the suspension's been lowered. The regular Genesis has around five and a half inches of ground clearance. It almost looks like they've lowered this about a half an inch. And they've also, again, put these wider fender flares that also look really good. You can still see their dual line theme is kind of carried over onto the side profile. There's some actual carbon fiber along the side mirrors. And this vehicle is a mid-sized sedan. So you're looking at an overall length of around 196.7 inches long with a 118 inch long wheelbase. Honestly, I think the proportions of this car are perfect. I also love, again, the black trim that you get here, the panoramic sunroof, that shark fin antenna at the back. It really just kind of gives off a perfect silhouette. And then when you follow me over to the rear of the Magma Special, you can see uh, that the rear design is very tasteful. I love the carbon fiber rear duckbill spoiler that you get that's nicely integrated and flush. You also have this kind of concave design element here, which looks fantastic with the Genesis logo. As you can see the dual line LED uh, taillight theme kind of continues back here. You have this more aggressive rear diffuser. And then you can see there's a aftermarket Quicksilver exhaust. Now I wish I could start it up and let you guys hear what it sounds, but again, I love the kind of details here with the LED uh, reverse lights, the kind of rear splitter with the carbon fiber. But overall, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the design. I think that this vehicle, if they bring it to the US, would do extremely well, especially considering the fact that everybody tends to offer SUVs. We need more performance mid-size sedans like this. Now on the inside of the G80 Magma Special, Genesis has asked me not to sit in this vehicle, but at least I can kind of open the doors and show you everything. First of all, the dashboard of the car looks pretty much like the standard G80 stuff here, although you are gonna notice a couple of changes here. And obviously you have the 14 and a half inch center display here. You have a 12.3 inch digital cluster with their 3D graphics. The steering wheel you can see is completely Alcantara. I love the fact that you also have the contrasting orange stitching uh, with the kind of uh, racing line that's sitting there at 12 o'clock. You can also see on the dash, it has kind of a carbon fiber look to the actual 
actual trim, along with some actual real stitching and leather going across the entire dash. The door panel also has this kind of diamond quilting design, which is nice, along with the metal speaker covers and the metal accents, which look nice. And then, of course, the centerpiece here are the seats. These are really beautiful Recaro bucket seats, which are covered in suede and leather material. They're also uh, power adjustable, which is nice. I don't know if these are heated or ventilated, but I also really love the orange seat belts, which again, add to the whole racy look. This kind of reminds me a lot of the GV80 coupe concept that they showed last year, which also had a similar looking seat. But overall, the interior looks almost production ready aside from these Recaro seats, because I don't think that people in this segment are going to appreciate driving these year round if you're not on a track, but hey, it definitely gives it a more racier vibe. But let's go ahead and show you guys the back seat area. Again, I can't sit in the vehicle, but I can at least show you what it looks like. And as you can see, uh, you essentially have the same kind of dual carbon fiber racing buckets back here. So there's no more middle seat. In fact, Genesis actually puts a little center console here, but there is still a surprisingly good amount of legroom. The regular G80 has around 38 and a half inches of legroom. This looks pretty similar. The seat back, as you can see, has the, uh, the painted orange, magma orange elements here. No storage compartments, but you do have your own set of climate controls back here. No heated rear seats. You have rear seat air vents. You also have a power retractable shade along with a little center console storage area. But overall, as you can see, I think that you know this being a concept car looks very close to production. So if Genesis ever did decide to bring this to the US, I don't expect them to also include these racing buckets, especially when you're looking at the backseat area. So obviously getting a chance to see a brand new performance midsize sports sedan is a real treat, especially when again, every manufacturer is so obsessed with showcasing SUVs. And this is the where I wish I could say, well, you can expect to see it in US Genesis dealerships so soon. Sadly, this is going to be a bespoke limited production model and it will only be available in the Middle East. So I guess if you guys live in the US, probably move to Dubai, that's where they first showed this vehicle. And this is also where I wish I could talk about what I think this car would cost, but if you guys are gonna speculate, the current G80 in the US starts at around $57,000, goes up to around 75 grand for the top version. If Genesis were to bring this vehicle here, I really think that they should put the G G90's powertrain, the turbo supercharged version, of the engine and the powertrain. Give us again all these performance upgrades. I think people would gladly pay around 80 to $85,000 for this vehicle. Again, mid-size performance luxury sedans are kind of becoming few and far between. So if they did decide to bring something like this to the US, it would really compete head on with something like the BMW M550i, Mercedes AMG E53, and of course the Audi S6. Those class of vehicles, those mid-size executive sedans are, are personally always been a favorite of mine. So really this car, even though it is technically becoming a piece of forbidden fruit here in the US, I really am hoping and praying, and if you guys are in the comments section below, leave a comment and tell Genesis you should bring this to the US because we need more performance sedans like this. Redline Reviews here at the 2024 New York International Auto Show. I'm Sofian Bey.